Bend the knees and bring the soles of the feet together into Supta Baddha Konasana. Let your legs relax out to the side so your knees are heavy and falling apart. Now from here, if you'd like to open up the front of the shoulders as well, you can bring the arms up into a cactus position. And even though we don't have a block underneath our chests, this still can be a beautiful opening of the shoulders with the arms bent, palms face up. Take five rounds of breath here. Feeling gravity. Take hold of your knees and elbows. Feeling the weight of the joints moving down towards the floor. hands underneath your thighs and draw your knees in towards your chest. Hold on top of your knees now and then roll them around in a circle so you're massaging your lower back into the mat by allowing the pelvis to tilt up and down and side to side. And then take those circles in the other direction. Try and keep your neck as relaxed as possible your shoulders and collarbones broadening. So we're using the bend of the elbow and the strength of the arms to manipulate the legs. Beautiful. Bring your right knee towards your chest, let your left leg relax along on the mat. Take a full breath in here, feel the ribs expand. And as you exhale and the ribs deflate, squeeze that right knee a little closer to your chest. Take one more big breath in. And then empty out, roll the knee across your body for a spiral. Your right arm extends up to the diagonal. Now here we're going to start a little rock from side to side. So you're going to use your left hand to roll your right knee closer to the floor. Your right shoulder might pop off. And then from there take the opposite. Draw your right shoulder blade down and your knee might lift off. So take that with the breath and inhale to relax the knee. And then an exhale to relax down into the shoulder. And when using the spiral action to initiate some movement in the spine to get that rinsing through the abdomen. Just take one more round like this, full breath in. Soft breath out, relax in the waist. Then keep rolling onto your back, draw your right knee close to your chest. Full breath in here. And as you exhale, draw your tummy button in towards your spine and bring your chin to your knee. Stay here for your inhale. Start to strengthen your left leg and flex the toes back towards the face. And then as you exhale, switch the knees, keep your head and shoulders off the floor. Inhale. Exhale and switch. Last round, full breath in, try and lift your shoulders off. Exhale, left knee comes in, relax your right leg down, relax your head and shoulders down. Inhale, inflate the chest. Exhale, squeeze your left knee a little tighter. Full breath in. And then on the empty, rinse your left knee over the top of the body, extend your left arm out to the side. Now start with the rolling, your inhale, encourage that left hip to roll over and on top of the right. And then slowly draw your left shoulder blade back down. Take three rounds like that and you can use your right hand to assist you as much as you like. But working with that breath, feeling the emptying of the lungs, how it makes room in the waist. Slowly come all the way onto your back. Next, inhale, stay on centre, rearrange your hips if you need to. 
And as you exhale, tummy button in towards your spine, use that initiation to lift your head and shoulders off. Full breath in, extend your right leg off the floor, and then switch. One full round of breath in. Exhale and switch. Inhale, bring both knees in towards your chest. And then start a rock and roll up and down the spine. Try and keep your knees and the head as connected as possible. It engages the core a little more. And uses slightly less momentum to get this rounding action. Just take a couple more. Going only as high as is comfortable onto your shoulders and neck. And then cross the ankles. Nice. Take the right shin in front of the left. You can have them crossed right underneath your calves or you can have a more open position. Depends on what's more comfortable for your hips. Inhale, bring your arms forwards and up. As you exhale, drop your right hand to the outer left knee. Your left hand becomes a second spine behind you. Inhale, get very tall. And as you exhale, start to corkscrew from the base of the spine all the way up to the vertebra in between the ears at the top of the head. And if you take that time to imagine each link of your spine corkscrewing up rather than making the action happen all at once, then you might have a slightly deeper understanding of where most of the movement comes from. Different vertebra lengths have different ranges of motion, especially with your twisting actions. Take a full breath in and get tall through the crown of the head. Stay as you exhale and any amount of pressure through the hands, you could rinse slightly further around. Inhale through center. And as you exhale, drop your chin to your chest, relax into a wide arm forward fold. Take two rounds of breath here. Relax your head down. You can soften the arms forwards. Keep the belly soft and moving. Take an inhale, like a halfway lift. Reach your chest forwards, front a flat spine. And as you exhale, re-extend back down, maybe caterpillar your hands forwards. Full breath in. And as you empty out, tummy button draws in towards your spine and you can roll up, leaving your head and your arms until last. Inhale, forward with the arms. Exhale, left hand to the outer right knee, right hand becomes the spine. Inhale, get tall. Working from the base up, rinsing around to the right hand side. Keep traveling with the head and the eyes at the very top. Feel as tall through the back of the body as you do the front. Try and soften the front ribs down. Tuck the chin ever so slightly to find the length in the back of the neck. Full breath in at the top. Maybe an extra rinse as you exhale. Inhale through center. Switch the legs in front so now your left shin is in front. Then drop your chin to your chest and roll yourself forward. Arms extend out wide, slightly wider than your shoulders so you can have softness and space between the shoulders and the ears. Two rounds of breath. Try to keep your hip bones planted down as the body goes forwards to extend through the side of the hips. Next inhale, take your halfway lift, lead through the chest and chin. And then re-relax down as you exhale into a more extended position. Full breath in here. Emptying out, draw tummy button in, roll yourself up. Really nice, just opening the chest, clasp your hands behind your back, roll the shoulders open, push your fist into the mat and take two rounds of breath. Inhale, lifting your chest towards the ceiling. And then emptying, squeezing and rolling your shoulders back. Keeping the throat at a neutral position, a gentle lift of the chin, but not enough to crush the front of the throat. Coming out, just drop your head forwards, 
relax the hands and tip into a tabletop position. Spread the hands wide on the mat. Taking three cat cows to, in, to relax the spine. Inhale to open the chest to lift the tailbone. And then full exhale, push into your hands and knees, pull your tummy button away from the floor. Inhale, use the head as an extension of the spine. Exhale, tuck your chin towards your chest. Last time here, working with the length of your breath to find the length of your movement. Beautiful. Inhale, find your neutral spine. And as you exhale, squeeze the left side of your ribs and your hips together. Look around the corner. Inhale through center. Exhale, squeeze the right side of your body together. Look to that side. Inhale through center. Try to keep that neutral spine. So as you squeeze one side of your body, the tummy button doesn't drop. It stays level. Coming through center. Exhale over towards the right. I'm going to take that once more each side. Really working with the oblique muscles. Beautiful. Re spread the hands if you need to. Next, inhale, open your right hand towards the ceiling. As you exhale, thread that hand underneath your left arm. Now, don't touch the floor just yet, just reach, reach, reach as far as you can. Inhale and extend. Push through your left arm to open the chest. Exhale, reach your fingertips as far as you can. Don't drop the shoulder just yet. Last time here, inhale to open. Exhale, reach, reach, reach. And when you can't go any further, then relax your shoulder and your head down onto the floor. Your head is most comfortable here on the temple, so try and find that safe spot where your neck is relaxed. The option to clasp the hands together into a fist and then roll away from them to spread between the shoulder blades. Or if you like something a bit more passive, then you can relax that left arm behind your body, perhaps even tucking the hand to the inner right thigh. Now, if you can, close the eyes and... With your kind of inner eye, can you see where the weight distribution is between the knees? Have you sunk into the left side completely? Can you readjust to a more central position with the hips and knees? And how does that affect the twist? Let's take a full round of breath here. Save so your empty. Tummy button in towards your spine. Left hand now comes back towards the face. Inhale, push through it, open your right arm all the way towards the ceiling. And then slowly come back to center. Three cat cows to rinse. Inhale to open. Full exhale, push your shoulder blades off your back. If you want to take the next two rounds of breath to find a more circular motion, whatever this cat cow is to you, make it service that sort of rinsing through the spine. Find your neutral spine. Inhale, left arm open towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread the arm underneath. Not touching the floor just yet, just rinse. Inhale, push into your right hand to facilitate the opening of the chest. Exhale, reaching through. Last time here, inhale. Emptying out, find the most extended position before you relax the shoulder down. Find a safe space for your head to relax on the floor. And then from there, you can adjust the hand position to what suits you. From here, adjust the weight between your knees. Try and keep it central. There will be a tendency for your hips to rock off to the right-hand side here. You can use your right hand maybe on your pelvis to see where that tilt is happening. Slowly release the bind. Take your right hand beside your face. 
Next inhale, extend your left arm all the way back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, back down towards the floor. Beautiful. Right leg extends back. Just keep it on the floor and take three forward backs. So you're rinsing between pushing the heel back towards the back of the room and then moving forward into the fingertips. Find your neutral. To lift the leg, reach through the heel as much as you can. It extends so much that it floats off the floor, length through the back of the knee. Take a full breath in here. As you exhale, draw your right knee towards your right armpit. Inhale through center. Exhale, take that foot to the other side of the mat, to the left. Keep the leg extended this time. You can place it on the floor. Beautiful. Inhale through center. Exhale, knee to armpit. Squeeze the right side of the body and look towards your knee. Inhale through center. Exhale, keep that foot long and twist towards the left. Look towards your foot. Once more each side, inhale. Exhale, so take the contraction, the squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, find extension and length. Exhale, towards the left. Beautiful. Inhale through center. Knee to nose. And then just try and land that foot in between your hands. And you can take your right hand off to make that happen. Nice. Drop down into the lunge. Inhale, open your chest and drop your pelvis. Exhale, forward fold. You can keep your foot relaxed here. Inhale, back into your lunge. Exhale, into your half splits. The last time here, inhale. Exhale, into your half splits. Come back into your lunge. Tuck your left toes. Engage your hands. And then find a higher lunge. Nice. Now you'll feel where the strength is in your body. Can you take your hands off the floor? If not, engage the legs a little more. Really nice. Plant your whole left hand down. Open your right arm towards the ceiling. Now from here, take that right hand and place it on your sacrum on the back of your pelvis. And see if that left hip is dipping around the corner or if you feel like it's parallel to the floor. Generally sink the right hip down a little more. Pick that left hip up so your pelvis is flat. From there, open your right shoulder up and back to make the twist happen in the spine. Full breath in here. Exhale, bring your hand back down. Inhale, push your hands into the mat. Dome the spine, make space. And as you exhale, try and slip that right foot back without making any noise. Full breath in here. Exhale, drop the knees and lower the body all the way to the floor in one motion. Baby cobra. Push your feet into the mat, strengthen the legs to lift the body. And then slowly deflate the chest down. Twice more like that. Take as much weight out of the hands as you can. Full breath in. Exhale, push through the hands. Leave the floor in one piece. Bring the big toes together, knees wide for your child's pose. You can reset the arms a little wider to relax the shoulders away from the ears. Sink the hips down towards the heels. If you want to take a little rock with the forehead side to side, it's a nice way to massage any tensions out of the face. Two rounds of breath here. Find that slower, deeper pace that we started with. Pull out the hands. Inhale through your tabletop. And you exhale, just rearrange the knees so they're right underneath your hip bones. Extend your left leg back, keep it on the floor. Rock forwards and back three times, opening the back of the left calf and just getting those rinsing actions through the wrists. Beautiful. Find neutral. Reach through the heel to extend the back of the knee and it lifts off the floor. Full breath in. 
Exhale, left knee to left armpit. Keep it high and look towards the side of your body. Inhale through center. Exhale, leg long over to the right hand side. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze. Bring your tummy button in towards your spine. Inhale through center. Exhale, all the way to the other side. Squeeze the right side of your body. Inhale. Exhale. Last round of breath. Inhale through center. Knee to nose directly through the middle this time. And then you can lift your left hand to bring that left foot down in front of your face. Drop the pelvis. Lift the chest as you breathe in. And as you exhale, send the hips back for your half splits. Keep your front foot relaxed. Twice more like that. Just moving through. Opening up the hips. Getting that mobility more than anything. Next, inhale. Moving into your lunge, extend your right leg off the floor. Feel the push of your feet into the mat, so you might be able to take your hands off the floor. Once you have that strength in your legs, right hand down, open your left arm towards the ceiling. Take a moment to establish the alignment of the pelvis, dropping that left hip down, lifting that right hip up, from that position, open your chest towards the ceiling. Take a full breath in. Exhale, bring your hand down towards the floor. Inhale, like an angry cat, dive away from the floor, feel the strength of your arms. And then exhale, slip back into a high plank. Stay to your inhale, extend your chest forwards. Exhale, lower all the way down to the floor in one piece. Three baby cobras, your inhale lifts you up. Kneecaps lift off the floor. And then exhale, slowly lower down. Use the strength of your legs to ground you to lift the chest. Last time here, inhale. And exhale, you push yourself off the floor. Once again, landing in your wide knee child's pose. Take two rounds of breath here. Use it as a reset. Replant the hands. Inhale through tabletop. This time tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Knees bent to start off with. Establish the length in the spine. Relax your head between your arms. And then start to pedal one heel down to the floor. And then the other. Tailbone lifts up. Front ribs tuck in. When you're ready, establish a sort of stillness in the position. Inhale, lift up into your tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look to where you're going to go. And then in one big step, left then right, drop your head down into a forward fold. Bend your knees deeply so you're relaxing your torso along the front of your legs. Try and connect your belly and your thighs. Hold on to each elbow. And hang in a rag doll. Now here, keep trying to tip the weight into the front third of the feet, into where the toes are. So your pelvis is above your heels, rather than hanging back in the heels like a chair pose. If you want, you can take a little side side swing to keep relaxing the body forwards. When you're ready, find center. Release the grip of the hands. Bend the knees deeper. Take two rounds of breath to roll to standing. Again, leaving the head and the arms behind. Drop the tailbone down and sequence through the blocks of the spine until you come all the way to standing. Inhale, roll the shoulders up. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, the arms forwards and up. Exhale, forward fold, drape the body back down over your thighs. Halfway lift, 
go down to come up with the head, so like you're sneaking under a fence. And as you exhale, reverse that action and drop your chin to your chest. Twice more, down to go up, find that curve before you find the flat spine. And then relax as you empty out. Slow down the breathing, inhale. As you exhale, take your right leg back into a crescent lunge. Inhale, lift your body all the way up. Settle into the position as you empty out. So your front knee is tracking forwards. Your right heel is extending back. Now your pelvis here is probably slightly tilted forwards. If there's an exaggerated curve, bend your back knee, tuck your tailbone down, and you'll feel that alignment. From here, keeping the pelvis as it is, you can start to reach the heel back. If the pelvis starts to tilt, then just stay in this position, still feeling that opening of the front of the right hip. Full breath in here. And as you exhale, right hand forward, left arm back for a twist. Inhale through center. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Hips stay the same, just the shoulders moving. Inhale through center. Soften the knees, exhale, sink down. Inhale. Last time, left arm forward, right arm back. Full breath in. Exhale, sweep the arms forward, take an arrow head. Beautiful, stay with your inhale. Exhale, plant your right hand down, open your left arm up. A couple of options here, so we can either drop the right knee and extend the left leg back into a supported side plank, or if you're feeling keen as being, then you can keep that right knee lifted and just float the left leg back into a full side plank. Full breath in at the top. Now as you exhale, just like before, thread the left hand underneath your right armpit, but keep the hips as they are. Inhale through center. Don't let your left hip drop. Exhale to rinse. Inhale through center. Last time here, full empty out. Inhale, reach back up. If you can, start to lift your left foot up and then float it back into your lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Warrior two, just spin your back foot so it lands 45 and ground the blade edge. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. You can rest that left elbow onto your thigh. And from here we're going to open the chest towards the ceiling, relax your right arm back. Let it travel over the hip. Start to roll your right shoulder down towards the floor and then come back to your extended side angle. So open up with the breath. Inhale to open. Exhale to close the front of the body, let the arm drape over. Inhale. Exhale, relax. And coming back to your extended side angle, inhale. Exhale, come back to your worry too. Stay for a full breath in. And then in one motion, exhale, come all the way down through a vinyasa. You can drop to the knees, moving through an upward facing dog or a baby cobra, downward facing dog as you empty up. Then take three rounds of breath here, in through the nose, out through the nose or the mouth for a bigger sigh, relax the head. If you've got too much heat in the body and that's a relax down into a wide knee child pose, you can just drop the knees. Next, inhale, lift up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look to where you're going to go. Step up or jump to the top and relax the body down. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. And then bend the knees over two rounds of breath for all the way stepping. Next, inhale, row your shoulders forwards and up. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, reach your hands up. 
Exhale, soften the knees and drag the body down. Three halfway lifts, inhale up. Exhale, drape the belly over the thighs. Leave from the head down to go up. Emptying up. Last time here, inhale, roll your shoulders back. The left leg moves into your crescent lunge. Keep the heel off the floor and then push your feet to lift your upper body up. Take a moment to adjust your pelvis. Feel if you need to drop that tailbone down. Eliminate the curve in the lower back to as much as you can. With that back leg softening, you can start to extend your heel back, only to the point where the pelvis doesn't adjust. Soften your right knee forwards. Inhale, lift your body up. And then left arm forward, right arm back, empty up. Inhale, three center. Keep the pelvis as it is and just rinse through the waist and the shoulders. Let the ribs are kind of just floating up and off the rest of the torso. They're very separate, there's a lot of space as you rinse around. Last time here. Inhale through center. Keep the legs strong. Just take a body forward for a dive on the dive and we can stay in that back leg. Then plant your left hand down. Open your right arm towards the ceiling and you can take the dropped knee position or you can start to rotate into a fully fledged extended side plank. Like the sitting arm bridge, lift the hips up. Push through your underneath the arm. Take a full breath in. Keep the hips as they are as you rinse the arm underneath the body. Inhale, open. Empty out as you exhale. Pump tummy button in towards your spine. Last time here, exhale. Inhale here. Try and lift that leg off as you draw the knee in. Float it to land into your plank, into your lunge. Inhale to lift up. Warrior two, spin that back foot. Right knee moves wide. Last breath in. Bring your hands down. One motion through vinyasa. Any version you like. Breath in to the lift. Empty up to relax. Three rounds of breath here. Lift your tailbone. Relax your head. And drop the heels. From here, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, step up or jump as you empty and relax the body forwards. Take a halfway lift. Forward fold. Bend the knees and roll standing. Drop your head, relax the arms. Inhale, roll the shoulders up. Exhale, back and down. Bring your hands to your heart center. Three rounds of breath here. In through the nose. Empty through the mouth. Soften your front ribs down. Feel the length in the back of the neck. Try and lower the heart rate. Reconnect with that slower breath we said at the beginning. 